Hi girls! So this is the look we're going to be doing today. It is a purple and pink look with some smudgy black on the bottom and some black liner and a light pink lip and it was inspired by Josie Stevens. I absolutely love her makeup. It is always very rocker chic but with this cute little baby doll twist to it that makes it really unique and really fun. As a person, she is absolutely amazing. She's really sweet, really caring, very helpful, and she's also very, very inspirational to be who you are, like what you like, and not worry about what other people think about you, because if you're always worrying about what everybody else is thinking, you're never going to enjoy your life, you're never going to have fun, and you only get one shot. So I really adore that about her, and she is who she is 100% of the time, and I just, I love that. I will have a list of all the products that I use on my blog, and I will have the link for that in the info section. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start by priming our eyes with a flesh colored primer. You want to prime your lid, your brow bone, and around the bottom portion of your eye. Now we're going to line our upper lash line with a black liner. And we're going to take our smudger brush and just smudge it out. Now we're going to take a white eyeshadow and just pat that on all over our lid. Now using the same fluffy flat shadow brush, we're going to take a shimmery pink shade and just pat that on all over that white. Now we're going to take a medium purple and a stiff pencil brush. We're just going to draw out the shape that we're going to be doing. So her eyes kind of start at the bottom and they go up at an angle kind of around the base of her eye. Now we're going to take a fluffy brush and a dark plum shade and we're going to start right at where our crease meets our eye, go up above our crease, and then right towards the inner corner, just kind of go down and flatten it out a little bit. You don't want to take this bottom part into your crease, you want it to be completely above it. And then on this outer portion, just go into your crease up until about halfway. Now go over that purple area. You need to use a smaller brush to get that more precise. Go ahead. Now we're going to take slightly more pigmented purple in our pencil brush and just kind of define that little outer part. So this is the shape that we're going for. Very cornered almond kind of shape. 
you have more elongated eyes or almond shaped eyes you can bring this corner tip just down a little bit I have very downset eyes so I wanted to bring it up to give my eyes more of that almond shape that Josie has. Now we're going to take a super light white highlighter and just a small fluffy brush. We're going to highlight this whole inner corner all the way into our tear duct and up into that purple. And then down underneath as well. So really highlight that inner corner. Now I can take a light shimmery pinky champagne color and highlight under your entire brow. I like to just kind of wipe it with my finger to get it to blend on that inner corner. You can use a blending brush, of course. I've just found that wiping it with my finger blends it a little bit easier. Now we're going to take a black shadow. I'm going to be using this one with a little bit of shimmer. And you're going to draw a straight line from your tear duct to under your lash line. And then you're going to draw a straight line across your bottom lash line till about the outer, maybe fourth. And then you're going to put it at an angle up to your lashes. You're going to take a really super pigmented black and go right along your lash line. I'm going to leave a little spot right here where the purple shadow is showing through. You're going to take that same black, same soft black, and define your little outer V. So do you see where it gets naturally dark right there? That's where you want to put it. Now you're going to take your black liner. You can use liquid liner. You can use cream liner. You can use pen liner. You can use whatever kind of liner you want. I'm going to be using a gel eyeliner and a little angle brush. Now you want to start from the bottom. And do very small little strokes. into just a little tiny V that kind of extends your eye into that almond shape. You don't want to drag it into the bottom lash line. Now drag that across and then we're going to straighten it out so it doesn't have that wing. And we're going to do very, very thin line in the inner corner to meet that. And we just want to make it almost a completely straight line from our outer corner to our inner corner. Now we're just going to take our black liner and line our inner rims. Now we're going to curl our lashes and put mascara on.
And you wanted to add lashes, I would add these little corner lashes like this that start off about the length of your lash and then get very long and dramatic. I'm not going to do that because I think my lashes look pretty good the way that they are and I don't want to add too much to them. So now we're going to do the blush. I'm going to do a peachy kind of corally pink kind of color and we're going to sculpt under our cheeks. So start right at the bottom of the apple of your cheek, go down, kind of just back towards your hairline along the bottom of your cheekbone. Now it's time for lips. We're going to line our lips on the outside, on the upper and sides of our upper lip, and then come down right before the corners. We're going to do the same on our lip. Line under it and then come in right before the corner. We're going to use a really light baby pink. So I'm just lining over and above my lip line. Rounding it out and coming down. When you're overlining your lips, it's really important that you never go more than a pencil width over your actual lip line. And you always want to do it about a shade or two darker than the actual color that you're going to do. Then we're just going to fill in our lips with this. And then we're going to fill them in with a shimmery, very light pink. Now you're going to take a very sheer, pinky kind of gloss, and you're going to line, or put that up on your entire Cupid's bow area, so little, little bumps on your lips. And on the center of your pout, and then just around these outer edges. You don't want to in any of this part or any of this part. And that's it. So here's our finished look. It's done in the same shape and style that Josie's is done that gives her eyes that very lifted, very sweet kind of almondy shape to them that I really like and it has that darkness and the lightness that makes it really unique and really fun. We have the light pink lips. Now I went with a little bit more of a Dolly Barbie pink lip simply because I am so fair. If you're a little bit more tan you can go with more of a cotton candy kind of color and that would look really good on you. I'm just so pale that you wouldn't even know I was wearing anything if I wore something like that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or would like to see any looks, please feel free to comment below on my Facebook page or on my blog, and I will have all those links in the info section. So I will see you guys next time. Have a great night.